Hey guys, my name is Matt and I am going to show you how to download and install Windows 10, which has just been released as of today. So if you go to the follow my link here, so I will paste this into the description below. And all you need to do is download the appropriate version. So I downloaded the 64. So I'm just going to minimize this and here is the actual tool. So once you run this, you have a couple of options. I'm currently running Windows 10. So I don't want to upgrade this. I want to do a clean install. So I'm going to click on here, create installation media for another PC. Here I'm going to select the language. And I want the Windows 10 Pro. <clears throat> and the architecture is going to be 64-bit. I'm going to click on next. It gives you two options. Um, you can install this to a USB drive and it will make it bootable, ready for you to actually obviously boot from your PC. So I'm going to choose the ISO version. So if you select this one, pop in a USB drive and it will do everything for you. So I'm going to click ISO for this. And then I'm going to save this on the desktop and I'll call this Windows 10. And click on save. And that's now going to download the ISO. In your case, if you selected the USB option, it will prepare the USB drive as well. So just to clarify why I'm using the ISO option is because I'm going to be installing Windows 10 in a virtual machine, so I don't really need to uh, create a USB bootable drive. Okay, so once the ISO has downloaded, it will then verify, and now it will start to create the media. So if you selected the option for USB, it will create your bootable USB drive. In my case, I, I selected ISO, so this is now going to create the ISO for me. Okay, so once you get to the very end, you will see here that my ISO file has been created. And again, it will probably say something similar for your USB drive. So all we need to do is click Finish, and then we can now prepare to actually install this. Now, all you need to do if you have your USB drive is just restart your computer and boot from the USB drive. I'm going to quickly create a virtual machine, and then I will add the ISO to the virtual machine, which will then show us the install process. Okay, so I've created my virtual machine and all I'm going to do is click on here to start it. So this is essentially the same as you starting your PC. I've added the ISO, uh, so that will boot from there and your PC will obviously boot from the USB drive. Okay, so the first screen here we have a language install, so we're just going to leave it on uh, United States. I'm going to click on next and we're just going to click on install now. So here it's asking for a product key, so for this we should go to skip for now, and that will continue with the installation. So here we're going to agree to the license, we don't really have a choice. So here it's asking us what we want to do, now we're going to be creating a clean install, so we're going to click on advanced. Now I've only allowed 64 gig for the C drive, and I can extend that if I want to. But all we're going to do here is click on new, and then we're going to click on apply, and then if we click OK. That will now create the two partitions, one for system reserved and obviously the main partition itself. So we want to install on the biggest one here, which is the 63.5 gig. I'm going to click on next. Now this is going to go through the process of copying all the files and then start to install Windows 10. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this to run. I'm going to pause the video and come back once it's finished. So the setup has been pretty quick so far. It's gone through all those different stages. It's actually on its first reboot, so it's actually now just getting things ready, I guess. Um, so hopefully it should be installed soon. Okay, so the virtual machine actually rebooted twice in the process. Uh, it's now asking us again for the product key. Uh, we can click on here, do this later. Uh, and here now we're going to pretty much just get through this. So we're going to use the express settings and then we're going to let, let it do its thing. And hopefully we will be on the new Windows 10 desktop. Okay, so we're getting the familiar Windows 8.1 high, we're setting things up for you. Uh, so we're pretty much at the end of the installation, so it's a fairly painless process. Okay, so it's now asking us some information and who owns this PC. So if you're a home user, you would select I own it. If it's for an organization, you would select the top one here. So I'm going to select I own it and click on next. Basically, the organization will start to ask you to join to a domain. Obviously, if you're a home user, you won't do that. Okay, so it's asking here to sign in with our uh, Microsoft account. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to click on skip this step. So here it's now asking us to create the, uh, the first admin account, so I'm going to fill in my details. Okay, so with those details added, I'm going to click on next. And again, we're getting that familiar just a moment. 
that's now just setting up the final final steps and we will be on the desktop shortly so there you go folks that is how you install windows 10 um, so i'm going to be making more videos not just on windows but on other things as well i did make videos two and a half years ago i moved to australia and obviously uh, i didn't make any and now i'm going to start back up so i want to thank jens garcia also for helping me out along the way and yeah i'll catch you in the next video